support that the Congress of Vienna needed. The Congress's initial idea for a settlement with France involved basically leaving France and its restored monarch alone to enjoy a good number of their revolutionary conquests, but those moderate terms became harsh when Napoleon returned to France in the spring of 1815 to much acclaim from many of his French followers, including especially veterans of his army. Then after Napoleon and his forces were defeated at Waterloo in June of 1815, the Allies imposed an indemnity, meaning France would be responsible for some of the losses they had caused, and the Allies decided that they would occupy France until that indemnity was paid. The presiding spirit over the Congress and its negotiations was the Austrian minister Prince Clemens von Metternich. Through his arch-conservative eyes, there was a lot to worry about. One concern was the resurgence of revolution, a possibility he worked to prevent through the use of secret police, spies, and censorship. But for him, stopping revolution also entailed closing down Indemnity Indemnity Indemnity